Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, or should I say, welcome to outside of the garage. So, it's a nice day out, it's pretty warm, I decided we should do some uh, outside activities. So I got the grass cut, all that kind of stuff that you guys don't really care about. But anyway, we're going to be working on the trailer, taking a little bit of a break from the race truck. So, with that being said, we are going to be working on the trailer. Um, we're not going to have a use for it anytime soon with all of the tracks closed and all that. But really, I just want to get some of this stuff out of the garage and out of the house. Um, if you guys remember, I think I've had this stuff for well over like a year and a half, maybe even two. Pretty much after we got the trailer, I was going to do all this stuff, but we got busy. So anyhow, what we have here is we got a couple of swing back jacks. All this stuff actually came from Harbor Freight, which I'm not uh, one to go to Harbor Freight for stuff, but jacks are pretty simple. This box is actually a very nice quality, and I've heard a ton of nice things or good things about these winches. So we'll start with the winch. Um, obviously, we're going to need a winch because the race truck, well, historically, we've needed it, needed to get it on a trailer or something. Um, I mean, with what we're going to do with it and still running a 48RE, we're going to break transmissions. There's nothing we can do about it. Stuff's going to happen. We're going to need a winch to load the truck on the trailer. So we're going to be attaching this Badlands. 12,000 pound winch like I said um, this is probably a third of the cost of like a worn winch so you could buy three of them for the money um, and if you look online a lot of people actually recommend them say this is a good winch like I said it comes from Harbor Freight so if it only works for a year or two I'm not going to be shocked but then again we didn't put the money out for like the worn which I've heard they can be hit and hit or miss as well so also we have this tongue box for the front of the trailer now we're not going to be scooting this all the way back and the angle's a little bit different which we'll go into when we go to mount it but this box is a very nice quality um if i can get it open with one hand i mean this thing it's it's solid I, i'm i'm impressed for you know what you're getting from like harbor freight like i said but it is pretty pretty solid um it's actually watertight um for the most part we got a little rust in here but this has actually been sitting outside the last couple of weeks and we have had quite a bit of rain but it is dry in there so that and then we have these swing back trailer jacks basically we need uh some jacks for the rear of the trailer and you can't really put something on there that you just swing up out of the way because with this being a i guess 102 width trailer it is as wide as it can be um, and we don't really have anywhere to mount a jack that we can just swing up out of place. So those will be removable. We just have to weld like a little collet right here and all that. Now, when I when we go to put the jacks on, we'll actually put it back on the trail or back on the truck because it's sitting pretty low now. And what I basically want is for when it's attached to the truck, um, how we attach it to Caitlin with the hitch. I like the level of it. We don't usually scrape the trailer or anything like that. So whatever we do truck wise i want the trailer to be pretty level like that so when we go to a race somewhere or something then we can have our jacks sticking pretty much straight up and down um so far unloading and loading the trailer i gotta remember to bring an eight by with me and throw it in the truck and it's just a pain i want to have something on the trailer that we have permanent so this is what we're going to be doing today is getting this stuff on the trailer um eventually i would like to put some lights on the trailer for you know loading at night and stuff like that we're not going to get into that today i don't have a battery for it or anything but our first thing up on the agenda is mounting our winch as you can see i've already started this process i have a piece of three eighths plate and then i got three um two two inch square pieces uh or uh two inch square bar I got three pieces there. They're all welded in solid. I think I got a little more welding to do down here. But that's the front of the mount. Really, to mount this thing, I wanted to come up with something in the center of the trailer and not have anything where we were losing 
um, any deck space. Like I didn't want the winch to be mounted on the ground because if we take the you know race truck and say my four wheeler or something somewhere, we can fit them. But not if we have that winch there, probably be hard to load. Anyway, I wanted it up off the floor. So this is what I came up with. We got those in the back here. We're gonna be taking this two inch angle and be welding it on here like that. So that'll tie the back of this into this bar here, which is attached down below and over here. And we'll have Allen head cap screws come up to mount the winch here. Now, as you can see, I've already started this process a while back. Everything's pretty rusty. I'm not gonna go ahead and clean that off because I would like to put like poor, poor 15 or some sort of good paint like that on it eventually. So once we get this all done, we'll have to get some of that and then we can go over everything with good paint rather than just spray painting because that stuff just will, you know, it'll come off and all that. So anyway, let's get to finishing our winch mount and uh, just kind of move on with all this other stuff. All right, so our winch is mounted, our whole mount is done. We got our angle iron welded in here. Um, I put some angles on the angle iron. I uh, cut cut down this edge so we didn't have a sharp edge right here and kind of radiused it with my sanding disc. But our angles are all welded on, everything's on the trailer. The winch is bolted up, looking good. Got the control box on top. You know, you got your removable in and out switch. All that kind of stuff. Got our um, hook installed, the fair leads just mounted to the plate, which I think you guys would have seen already. But that's all done, looking good. I'm very happy with how it's sitting. Just really doesn't take up too much of the front of the trailer. You know, if we can need to pull a vehicle or something up, we can get just about to the end. If we had it on the ground, yeah, well, you could gr drive over top of it. But I'm also thinking if I wanted to put like the four wheeler and the race truck on here, put the ramps on the side, you know, just, I didn't want it on the floor is what it came down to. So anyway, we'll move on to mounting our storage box. This is kind of like some of the essential stuff we should have had on the trailer from the get-go. You know, having a winch and having a box to store stuff like our straps and all that. So anyway, I want to put the box as far back as possible, but still have access to the quick, um, quick part of the jack so I can get in there with my foot and push it down and pull the pin and put the pin back in and all that so it kind of has to be scooched forward the only problem with that is currently when the trailer is hooked to the back of the truck I'm able to put down the tailgate I don't want to lose that um, that's just you know if you can't get the tailgate down it just sucks so got to see it you know how far forward we can move that but also we don't want to get no point where we move it forward enough which I'm not sure if we will or not that's why these are designed with an angle to hopefully match the front a frame of the trailer but ours just doesn't um, but anyhow once it sticks out like this which I don't think it'll be a problem um, like if you had a square box here and it was out to here now when you're t backing the truck up and turning you're really gonna lose some of that turning radius. So I'm gonna bring Caitlin over, we'll hook her up and see you know, where we can put this thing as far as the tailgate goes and all that.
All right, so got the trailer hooked to the truck. Got the box kind of placed where I want it. Basically, I want to line it up with the back of this cross member on the frame of the trailer. So that'll give us adequate access in here to our um, jack. So I can push that down with my foot and then release it. Um, it's actually easier if I do it with the left here and then I can reach down with my or right, left, right. My right foot and then I can reach down with my right hand and grab the pin. So that'll work. And then as far as our tailgate, we have plenty of room. We have like six inches there. So pretty much any truck should be able to clear this. I don't see it being an issue. Um, you know, if somebody were to use the trailer or whatever, I don't think that would be a problem. I mean, obviously anybody using it would have to worry about the height of it, but that's not our issue. Uh, but so that's where we're gonna put the box. I'm gonna center it up on here. And also, you know, as far as um, losing turning radius, it's only sticking over about like two inches on either side. So we'll be good there. And really that's more of a concern. You know, if we had a square box, that'd really be a big deal. But having a box with this um, V shape definitely helps with that, as I said before. So anyway, we'll get our box mounted and then we'll move on to our jacks. All right, so we got both of our jacks mounted. Everything went pretty easy with that. I just used the jack to help line everything up, took my measurements, bing, bam, boom, we welded her all up. So they're looking good. I'm uh, very happy with how that all turned out. Now there is a, a support cross member on the back side of this plate that's welded like about here. So there, there is some support there, but that'll help from the trailer, you know, trying to lift the back end of the truck up when we're loading it and also, to you know just make it easier to get on and off the trailer with the race truck but yeah pretty much you just well there's no pretty much about it you just pull the pin out and this thing slides off then you come up here and put it in the box so our box is in as well it's secured you know just four bolts nothing real uh, major there but definitely happy with that it's going to be some good storage now some of this space is going to be occupied by a battery more than likely um I might also think about putting the battery underneath of the trailer. Um, I haven't fully figured that out yet. I've got to run the wiring for the winch itself and all that kind of stuff. Also, I need to get a cover for the winch. I don't, you know, it, it's not like we're going to be using this thing every day. So we don't want to have some sort of a shroud or a cover for it to keep it, um, you know, keep it from the elements. But yeah, you know what? I might look at getting um, maybe an Optima or some kind of battery like that that I can mount underneath and kind of mount whatever which way I need. That way we have full storage in here because once we get our other jack in and some binders and all that, that'll take up our space pretty quick. I don't know that we need a battery in here too, but that's all stuff we'll figure out um, before this you know project is 100% done. So guys, I figured I'd change it up a little and uh, kind of take a little break from working on the race truck for a day or two or whatever, and you know get some work done on the trailer. This is stuff like I said I've been I had this stuff in boxes and in the house for like a year and a half, two years. It's stuff I've been waiting to do to the trailer pretty much since we bought it. Um, you know, having storage on it, having a winch for this thing is a must. Um, this, th she's gonna break some parts. She's gonna break a lot of parts. Uh, it's just, that that's what we're getting into. She's gonna have to be winched on the trailer. I know it. And then again, you know, a winch, it might be like a lot of things. 
if you if you don't have it you're going to need it but if you have it you're not going to need it which would be even better but yeah knocking out some of this stuff on the trailer we still have wiring to do we got to put a battery in L let me know what you guys' ideas are for you know relocating a battery or should we just throw it in a box after looking at it i think i'd rather have it kind of underneath um and then we can load stuff in the trailer and i might look at some sort of another storage solution on the bottom side of the trailer i don't know how accessible that would be but that might be something we'll look at in the future so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed please like the video subscribe to the channel i'll catch you guys on the next one get out your garage get well you know what get outside of your garage and get the wrenching on your trailer